Hello guys, Mike here with 2-1-0 Scrapping. Today we're going to be doing some faucets. Um, this is a restroom one and a kitchen one. Um, first off, we're going to start off by unscrewing any screws that you can see. So we'll just get those. Some down in here. Inside here. Here's some more screws on this one. All right. Now we're going to take off any magnetic metals. Let's see if I can get my magnet here. It's stuck. And so these are going to be magnetic. Both. Some of these you can just unscrew them. Take that off. This is going to be a solid piece of aluminum here. Um, sometimes these can be brass. <clears throat> um, at my scrapyard, they buy the the brass that is coated in. Aluminum, they buy it as industrial brass. Okay, so take this little plate off. All right, and there's a screw in here we're going to take out. We're going to have to switch our tip to, I believe it's an alley wrench. that so the handle comes right off this one this one has one here too and that gets rid of this handle so we have two handles there and then we're gonna unscrew these here um, these are stuck so we're gonna get a pair of Plant pliers. Put this together here. <clears throat> and the screw that I took off earlier takes off the bottom plate. And this whole piece here should pop right out. Hopefully, oh, we gotta take this top part. Oh man, that's on there. I guess what I'm gonna do, since I can't take this cover off here, I'm just gonna cut the the copper off. So just cut it as close as you can. Cut it as close as you can to the brass. That one's nice, it all came out. 
So this whole piece here, they'll buy it as industrial brass. Well, one way to know if there's brass underneath. Just get your file. Good file. So you can't really file it so you know that it's brass. If it was aluminum, then it would have just scraped right off. So put these, this there with that. And these are going to be brass as well. So that's that. You can cut the copper connection, I mean the brass connections off. Alright, there's one. Gonna be one more here. Some copper. This is brass. Let me you can get this off, get it off. If not, then just put it together with the rest of the brass. And then this you can take the copper off here and separate it I'll do that later All right, back to this piece here um, I don't think this one's gonna cooperate oh yep Let's unscrew that this should have done the same thing here oh, oh I thought it was loose but it's because I took that Copper pipe off. Okay, now just give that a few twists and it should come right off. There we go. Just another piece to go with that. Okay, I got the piece off it was just a little piece of plastic that was holding it down here and then you just force it over these rubber and it just comes right off so it's another piece here so here we're gonna do the same thing um, we're gonna cut the copper as close to the bottom as we can. It's soldered in there, so you can't really just yank it out. Like that. One more piece. Oh, that one came right out. Nice. So we can pop these out. <clears throat> nope. I'm not going to waste my time on that. Here's another piece of brass. You see the yellow there. So, see, it's coated with aluminum and it's just the brass inside. So, throw that with that. Another piece. So one aluminum piece out of that whole thing. You can clean up your copper pile up, make it number one, get all this solder off. So this little chunk's all gonna be number one. 
copper tubing. We got a little bit of yellow brass. iron industrial brass Let's coat it so yeah that's um, all I got um, this is what you'll get out of a faucet um, it's pretty good I think it sh should take you no longer than two minutes to scrap it and I kind of took my time to show you step by step how to take it apart so that's about it so thanks for watching make sure you like comment subscribe and i'll see you on the next video